Hello and welcome to this module. Yesterday I had a meeting with the chief marketing officer and the sales manager. With my project, I wanted to present it to be sure that I'm going to get the okay. So overall, the project was really fine, either as in terms of budget and in terms of scheduling. There is one thing that was suggested and approved was that we would add a training for the salespeople. So I need now to change my planning and I had already done my baseline. So I need to change and modify my baseline. It's Christian from Vision 6D and it's what we are going to do together. Right behind me is the Gantt chart of the project. It's a customer relation management system that I'm setting in place in that company. It is CRM. Many of my trainings are based on this project. So we are in the phase of initiation. It means that we want to get the approval of this project. We've already started some planning because you see it right here. And after that will come the execution with the selection of the CRM that we are going to put in place and then different adaptations and integration of that CRM in the IT environment. And then, of course, we need to train people. And as I explained, the sales manager, he wanted also that there is a specific training for the sales people. It's what I've added there in red. And the cost of this task is of 2000 euros. And I had already my baseline set up. So I need now to change my baseline. I could wipe that baseline and restart a new one. But I'm going to use that situation to show you how you can easily change a baseline. So I select that uh, task here and you see here up, I went into the view part and under view and the, the group data, there are tables and I'm going to select a new table. And for this, I need to go to more tables and I will select the baseline table. And you will notice that we have on all tasks entries for this um, the tasks in this project and here down I don't have any information it's written in a not applicable in that situation which means that this task is not integrated in the baseline table so our change we want it to be integrated in there so what I'm going to do is to go here up into project and I'm going back to set baseline, you see here. And among the baselines here, there are the different possibilities and you see that we have a defined baseline by the 4th of March 21. We have here the possibility to have up to 11 baselines and what I, I want to do is to add a certain task into that baseline. For that, I go here down and I'm saying selected tasks and make sure that here the task is selected. And I say selected tasks. And now we have two options. It's how it's going to sum up in summary tasks. We can say either we just want subtasks to, to have this or we want it to all summary tasks. If you want to check this, you can see here the summary task, which is entitled test training, is actually at 47,480 euro. So when I'm going to say yes, we'll see what's going to happen. I have here a warning that tells me that the baseline is already used. Am I really sure of what I want to do? Yes, I am. And here it's okay. So we see here 
that we have now entries and that our values have been modified. In a project there will be changes, so there are changes that are quite important and quite relevant in a project. For that we might create a new baseline and what we might be willing to do is to save the old baseline to remember to be always able to go back to that older baseline. So I'm going to show you how you can copy a baseline. For, for this we go again into set baseline and we have what is called here set interim plan. An interim plan is like a light waste version of your planning. You could have simply start and finish date instead of having all the details. So I will keep this and you see here the copy possibility. So we have the possibility to copy fields to other fields and here we also have the possibility to copy the baseline into and I will choose another baseline. You could say that historically you will go uh, counterwise from 10 up to the nearest you, you can find. So for this I would admit that I would like to copy baseline into baseline 10. And that's it. Just have to say OK here. And nothing changed in our baseline. But if I go here into set baseline again and I look at the different baselines I have, I see down here that baseline 10 was saved the 7th of March. So this is the second point that I wanted to, to show you, like that you feel comfortable handling baseline, bringing modification or bringing a new baseline and copying it. Now we are set, the project got approved, so we can move ahead now with the start of the project. You liked it, so thumb up. You can also share it with your friends, comment, ask questions, and all what is left to me is to wish you a really great day. See you soon. Bye bye.